Hello guys, welcome to this course. My name is Gautam Kumawat and I am your instructor for this digital forensics course. So first thing when I see this digital forensics, the one thing I went to mind is the forensics. What is the forensics? I hope you watch out a lot of movies and inside those movies the crime happen. Perfect. So after happening the crime, is somebody going to report that crime and after reporting that crime, the police is going to visit the criminal scene. At any location the crime happened, the police is going to visit out that location and police is trying to find out some evidences related to that case. So maybe police is finding pistol if the murder happened. Maybe if the rap happened, police is trying to find out some clothes, hair. So all those things are called the evidences. Perfect. So this is called the normal, the journal forensics. So what is the digital forensics? Whenever any crime happen by using the digital devices like his mobile phone, laptop, camera, router, switches, if all those things are involved to commit a crime, it will be committed the digital forensics. So what exactly it is? Digital forensics is the modern day field of forensic science in which we deal with finding recovering and investigating the material found in the digital devices. It is the process of identifying, the preserving, analyzing and presenting all the digital evidences in the court so we can be able to put that criminal behind the bar. So the main reason is that why we should do the digital forensics. The first thing is that to identify a leak within a organization. So take example, I'm having my own company Gotham Venture and some sensitive data leaked out inside my organization. And I want to find out that who, who is the person who leaked out all those sensitive data. And for that, I'm going to do the digital forensics. Perfect. Or maybe something damage happened inside my company. And I want to see that how much damage happened inside my company to find out the actual breach, actual damage. I'm going to do the digital forensics. Or maybe some crime happened and the police want to reconstruct the crime scene and for that we are going to use the digital forensics. Perfect. So whenever the forensics came into my mind, the first principle came into mind is the Locard's law. And Locard's what exactly they said that every contact by a criminal leaves behind a trace. And this is only applied for the children forensics, but right now it's also applied for the digital forensics. So whenever the locard given this law, it was only given for the journal forensics, but even right away, even it's this law is, you know, this principle is also applied for the digital forensics. So what exactly the locard says? He said that it is impossible for a criminal to act, especially considering the intensity of the crime without leaving traces of this presence. So it's also applied for the cyber crime involving the computer network, any crime like as identity theft, electronic bank fraud, DDoS attack, even that criminal does not contact with the actual crime, criminal scene, actual the crime scene, and even he's sitting, you know, 1000 kilometer, 100 kilometer away from that criminal, that crime scene, actually he leave a traces behind. Maybe he using the tour, maybe he using the proxy, Maybe whatever the things he using, he always leaving a traces behind and that's what exactly the low card say. And this law is so much important to find out the actual criminal. This law is so much important in the digital forensics to find out the actual criminal who involved in doing that any type of crime cases. Perfect. So these are some of the type of the digital forensics, computer forensics in which we do the forensics of the computer system, network forensics. Forensic data analysis, mobile device forensics, IoT forensics, satellite forensics, cloud forensics, and there are tons of other forensics that are out there. So if you want to become a forensics analyst, you have to be specialized. You have to find out that in which domain you want to work. And in this course, we are going to discuss about computer forensics, that how we can be able to find out the evidences which are which are inside your computer system, so we can be able to solve out any of the cases using those evidences and in the next video guys i will be talking about the complete process involved in doing the computer forensics so i will see you inside the next lecture goodbye guys take care